And it was a gathering of men of God from both the Pentecostal and Orthodox divide who came to honor late pastor Taiwo Odukoya at the Fountain of Life Church here in Lagos. Senior correspondent Ivy Kanu was at the service of songs and returned with this report. So lifting songs from both the Fountain of Life Church Choir and invited gospel artists. It's also a night of tribute by those who had close encounter with the late preacher. Sent the mission department to pick me from the bridge and I was taken to a graceful home where I was given, taken to good schools, primary schools, secondary schools, universities, and today I'm a graduate of the University of Hakuipiti. You see the pastor that comes one day and says that all the parishes that we have as a church in Nigeria, that as the Lord called him, he called all the pastors there too. That so on that day, even though Fountain had invested in the setup of all of those churches across the country, he released all of them. Pastor Sam Adeyemi of Daystar Christian Church was the preacher for this program. The of the Lord will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and have left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. A man of integrity, simplicity, and a man that is after God's heart. And unfortunately, he has to go at his time. We are going to miss him a lot in Nigeria, in Lagos, because he belongs to the class of the generals and the Lord. The children he left behind and other family members said they believe he's in a good place. He was a son that you can love God totally. You can love God unashamedly. You can love God completely with integrity and character. He was a son. And you know that the word of God does not return to him for The second part says, So I am confident of this. At the face of death, my father did not mourn, and he's not mourning now. My dad has made the ultimate transition to glory. I see him praising and worshiping God. He did not experience pain, and this man spoke in tongues for three months without stopping. The preacher who died on August 7th, 2023, in the United States of America, will be laid to rest on September 9th. 2023. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.